Good morning, friends. We are in downtown Tulsa this morning. The kids and I are going to a book event. It's like a story time at one of the local bookshops. And then after that, we're just gonna have a fun day. I think today I'm going to tell you my top five parenting hacks. And they're pretty good. I've only been a parent for two years but I have some good hacks for you. The first one is how to easily carry a car seat. And since it's just me with the camera, I'm gonna show you while Atlas is still sitting in the car. Hi, Chill. This is a trick that was shown to Corey and I by Shay Carl, and we have used it ever since he showed us. The dude has like a zillion kids, so he knows how to carry car seats. A lot of people hold car seats right here when they're carrying them, but what Shay told us and what I'm gonna show you guys is to not do that. What, Cho? Okay, watch this. Instead, wrap your hand around and grab the car seat right there while you're carrying it. Obviously, Atlas is still like, you know, clipped into the car, but if you hold the car seat right here, it's a lot easier. It distributes the weight a lot better on your hips, makes it so much easier to carry a heavy baby like Atlas Cade. <gasps> hey! My parenting hack 1.25 is to just be okay with your car getting messy because cars get messy when you have kiddos. It just, it just happens. No matter how often you clean it, they're gonna get messy. Okay kids, you ready? Yeah, they're ready. One skill that every stay-at-home parent should have on their resume is highly adaptable. Both kids were kind of fussy during the story time. Atlas was just super tired. He was ready for a nap. So we are on our way home and Atlas is now asleep in the back seat. So what are we doing? We're driving around aimlessly so that he can actually get some sort of nap in. Chell is in the back. She has YouTube on. She is happy as can be but I'm just driving. What I do sometimes is just pick a random neighborhood in Tulsa and drive through it. I love looking at houses. It's a little bit of an obsession. And so I'll just drive through random neighborhoods, look at all the houses, and then just drive. I just drive and drive and drive. You're awake. Did you have a nice nap? Yeah, I had a great drive. We are home. This little guy is happy as can be. He's still a little tired. He just woke up. Chell is upstairs napping. She went down for a nap super early. So while she is up there, I'm going to show you another parenting hack that I saw online. This one helps your kids know what shoes to put on what feet. What you do is you put a sticker. Well, you cut a sticker in half and put each half in one shoe. That way your kid can like line up the shoes and know, okay, those shoes go on these feet. Chell's not three, so she can't put on her shoes by herself all the time, but like her rain boots, her cowgirl boots, those she can put on. So I love this idea of having stickers inside the shoes because it's helping her learn, not really right from left, but at least what shoe goes on what foot. I cannot tell you guys how many times she has her shoes on the wrong feet. This Swiffer is another parenting hack that I am absolutely in love with. Chell loves to clean. I think most kids love helping. And so what we did is we took a normal Swiffer and just took out sections of the handle. You can see how it kind of goes together like that. All you have to do is take out a couple sections so it's the height for your kid, and then they can help you clean. Let's face it, two-year-olds aren't really the best helpers when it comes to cleaning, but she enjoys it. So I'm hoping that by letting her help and that by making it easy for her to help, as she grows up, she will like cleaning, if that's possibly a thing. I like cleaning. I mean, I don't mind cleaning. So hopefully when she grows up, she won't mind cleaning. It's also a good way to give a two-year-old chores. If they have a little sweeper that they can use, it makes it a lot easier. This little mister is getting super good at moving around, you guys. He is just crawling all over the place, already climbing into and onto everything. If he sees a toy that he wants, he will just like go through everything in his path to get it. He just throws the other stuff out of the way <laughs> and gets what he wants. That's actually kind of my fourth parenting hack. Everything is a toy to a kid and a baby. Even the things that aren't toys. For example, this is a magnifying glass. 
definitely not a toy. Like this is, I mean it's not a nice, nice magnifying glass, but this is not something that you know, like a baby or a two year old, you wouldn't buy this for them. This is Chell's favorite toy right now. And Atlas, he just, he'll play with anything. Literally anything. So when you have kids, if you don't have kids already, Skip buying them all the expensive, fancy, elaborate toys. Just get like a couple and see him? He's just playing and everything. Anyway, just get a couple toys and they will be happy as long as you love them and play with them. I really do feel like parents are kids' best toys. Um, but yeah, all, all the other stuff, all of these toys, all of it, doesn't matter. Dude, they'll play with anything. Even stuff they're not supposed to. That's Chell's cubby. That's where Chell's toys are. Atlas's toys are these balls. This is this is a Chell toy. But you don't care. That see, that's a skateboard. You should not be playing with the skateboard. Give me that stinker. You stinker. <laughs> Seriously, look at this dude. Like he's eight months old, you guys. He should not be doing this yet. I am not ready for this. He's just all over the place and he's so steady. Like I usually stand here ready to catch him, but he really doesn't need me to. He's got this, look at, like tippy toes. He's on his, oh, Atlas, slow down. Slow down, son, slow down. <laughs> Chell is awake from her nap, Corey is done working, but before we go in there to see how they're doing, I'm gonna share with you my last parenting hack and it sounds kind of weird, but parenting is a lot easier if you're okay with bribery. It sounds terrible, but it is so true. Right now we are potty training Chell and we've been trying all sorts of stuff. She walks around without a diaper, like with, with naked, no clothes on. Um, she does that all the time, but the only thing that's working is that combined with giving her Skittles anytime she goes in the potty. That's the only way we can convince that girl to go in the potty. She gets no Skittles unless she goes to the bathroom in the potty and then and then she gets Skittles. So, so we're basically bribing her to use the bathroom. Makes things easier, guys. Just, just be okay with it. <laughs> What is going on? Are you jumping? Yeah. <laughs> okay, run. Oh man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> they, whoa, where are you going? Whoa, you're going that way? That's new. <laughs> <laughs> Chell makes Atlas laugh more than like anyone else can. It is the cutest thing ever. Oh, it's dark. Okay, well, I think we're gonna say goodbye because it's too dark to see anything. <laughs> say bye, Chell. Bye. <laughs>